Oh my god, oh my god, I am just freaking blown away this evening. The, 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 the caliber of classic cars I've never seen here at the old orange drill up tonight is mind-boggling. I, I swear to god, this is a milestone moment for yours truly. Like, for example, this driver, big-ass slug of a Chrysler 300 uh, 65 model, which unfortunately it's really close to this, this really nice, uh, well, it's not a Bel Air, it's like a 210 wagon. God damn, that's cool. Look at that. It's dirty, it's cruddy, it's enjoyed, it's faded, it's massive, it's got surface rest, it's got patina. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. Okay, I don't like that steering wheel though. Look at that, it's got the floor shifter on there. Beautiful seats. Those can, I'm sure those, those aren't the original seats, are they? Look at the beautiful door panels. Now I always love the dash on these in the cluster. Oh my god, oh my god. I cannot believe the amount of quality classics I see here this evening. I'm just blown away by it all. I think I saw this car for sale a while back, but uh, I don't know. I, I really stopped looking at a classic cars for sale anymore because I'm visually impaired. I can't drive. What the hell's the point? You know, there's only so much dreaming you can do. It just doesn't make sense. Oh my God, I would totally buy that. Just enjoy it the way it is. Faded original gold paint, typical of that time, original uh, original 14 inch uh, wheels, tires. Look, it even has still the glass covers on the headlights. That was a one year only thing with those glass covers and that's just typical, you know, think outside a box type of Chrysler styling. Look, there's a Caddy and another Caddy, a 59 Caddy I've never seen. Very likely that's a 383 in that job there. That's a very standard engine in these but then again come to think of it if it's a if it's a canadian model it could actually have a a 361 but i just noticed something and it just blew my mind i'm gonna show you here fuck is it ever cool or what oh man it's too cool for school man okay i do love the steering wheel it's definitely old school the guy who owns it's not stupid you know look at the freaking exhaust cutouts on that what really Holy shit, man. Oh, my lordy. Hoosier. Hey, you know what's funny? As soon as I saw this car, it reminded me of when I was in L.A. in 2006 in August, right? 15 years ago, almost exactly. And I took a couple of pictures of one of these, man. Driver condition. Better, a little bit better shape than this, but very, very, very similar. It was like a, I don't know, tan cream color. And also, I remember when I started coming here regularly 20 years ago, or more than 20 years ago, 99, 2000, there was a guy who would come here, this guy named Henrik, and he had one like that. Same condition, same type of condition, except it was that light green, and it was a four-door, and he gave me a ride home in it, and it was just, just magic. Uh, Could this be magic? Do, 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 do. I like that Chevy also. I don't know about the Max. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I guess thanks for watching, eh? Right on there, uh, right on, right on, right on. Amazing, just an amazing big bolt. Let's see if I can back up, get somewhat more of a shot of her there. Yeah, thanks for watching, boys and girls. Bye-bye, thank you. I just want to have a quick look here. Oh, I just love it. I mean, I'm treating this as if I'm looking at a car I would buy, but anyway. That's the passion, that's the obsession for you. Bye-bye.